Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today we'll continue creating financial model uh, of a truck from scratch. And today um, we'll be answering another very important question. Um, what is the payback period of uh, my truck, of my business? So if you find this video valuable, you may give us a like. Uh, also, you may subscribe our channel, share this video with your friends. Also, you can order a financial model from scratch for your unique business idea. We can help you with that. So, um, what we need to calculate uh, the payback, simple payback period of uh, your business idea. So, uh, we need to be, we need to build a cash flow statement. Uh, we need this cash flow statement be grouped by. Um, operating activity, investment activity, and financing activity. So uh, this is the first uh, must have. Then what we do, um, then we uh, will be creating a group of lines. So this will be um, the block for simple payback period. So what we're doing here, um, we will create a formula. We will take the result from operating activity, add the result from investment activity, then we will uh, exclude uh, principal payments minus interest payments mass, ma minus lease uh, then we click enter then we move this formula to the right then we uh, create cumulative formula then we extrapolate this formula to the right and the rule uh, here is uh, while this line is negative this means that uh, we were um, uh, payback period so at this point this means that when this uh, negative changes to positive, this means that in October 2026 uh, we got our uh, the whole financing that we need to start our business back. Um, so uh, just pay attention that in this inside this formula, well, we don't include we don't we don't plus equity money from our pocket that we uh, take to the business and loan because if we uh, add it to the formula um, we will uh, get um, how it is better be said uh, our diagram here will be always positive because the rule for these two lines and this line means that um, cash balance at the end of the period must always be uh, positive or equal to zero. Uh, that's why we have to, when we are calculating the simple payback period, we have to avoid inflows from money from our pocket and from loan to see whether the project itself generates uh, the amount of uh, money that we invested in it. That, that's why we're just taking uh, let's say profits from from operating activity these profits then we uh, take investments uh, we take um, operating losses and then uh, we say that if these uh, these profits accumulating in cumulative uh, way are bigger than uh, these investments that we've done during uh, the preliminary stage so if we add equity or loan we won't in this formula when we take a loan when we take the money from our pocket 
we won't be able to see uh, whether the business itself generates enough money to get uh, the the the, uh, the the money that we invest, then we have to invest in it, in, um, in it back. So that's why we're taking only um, the result from operating activity, operating activity, investment activity. Then we uh, don't take uh, the inflow from equity. We don't take inflow from loan. Um, then we take uh, all the expenses that deal with loans, principal, interest, leasing, payments. So these are the real outflows of the uh, of the business, and see whether this uh, result from operating activity generates enough more uh, money more than uh, all these expenses. So here we create uh, the formula for this. Um, we can always we can also um, calculate the amount of months. Uh, if this is less than zero then one otherwise zero then we create a total for this line and after clicking enter we will be able to see the amount of months uh, this will be the payback period in months of our business idea and um, of course uh, we need to create a diagram from this uh, from this story So now we just take this line and we will create the, fam the famous diagram for, for the payback period. So now we've created this famous diagram of uh, uh, payback period and um, on this diagram the first moment uh, when we um, when this diagram crosses uh, the, in this this moment when the diagram crosses the end moment when the diagram crosses the uh, timeline uh, axis means that in this point we've um, this is the payback period this is the payback uh, moment of uh, your business idea so um so just let me explain you if we add if we add uh, for example a loan and uh, an equity in this formula You will be able to see that uh, we won't be able to see whether the project will generate generate uh, the cash flow itself itself. Uh, 
So here you see, because the rule of cash flow is um, uh, cash balance at the end of the period must always be zero or positive. So we won't be able to see the uh, payback period uh, of the business idea. That's why we didn't take uh, um, so we take away equity and loan. So now we've calculated uh, the simple payback period. So this point, this point means that in uh, somewhere in September, October, in October 2026, it is our payback period moment. We can also find this uh, moment here. This is this moment. So this point, this moment illustrates this point on the diagram. So uh, I hope that you understood what uh, the formula uh, is for a simple payback period. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe our channel, share this video with your friends. Also, you can order financial model from scratch for your unique business idea. So, see you next videos. Thank you and bye.